right, so uh, reviewing 4.1 and 4.2. So 4.1 was on slope intercept form. We're writing equations on slope intercept. We all know what slope intercept form is at this time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, just to kind of review a couple things, we want to think of slope as the change in y over the change in x. Should have heard me say that a whole bunch by now. Um, so, if you have you know two um, coordinates and you need to find the slope change in y is from 1 to 6 so that's a positive 5 change and the change in x is from 2 to 0 that's lower so that's a negative 2 change so then you could you know, put the negative out in front like that if you wanted to. Um, it's not wrong to leave it with the negative with the two or even with the five. Even the so just um, okay. So um, the four point one and writing equations in slope intercept form. So remember that. Uh, If, uh, like, so I'm trying to think if I want to do this. Um, this should be kind of the hardest version of the problem. Um, so, you know, write an equation in slope intercept form. Uh, so, got to find the slope. So, again, change in y that's up 6 change in x that's down 3 so the slope if you can divide it divide it the slope is negative 2 and then big thing to remember is this point right here whenever you have 0 comma something that's a y intercept so the y-intercept is 5, or whatever that number is. So to plug it in to slope-intercept form, negative 2 is our slope, positive 5 is the y-intercept, and we're done. So it's a huge benefit whenever you see that 0 comma something. Okay, You can use the other methods that we've done it just takes longer so it's kind of like when it's zero comma a number that's the y-intercept it's like a shortcut okay um, so also remember that and I'm gonna kind of basically write this same problem when you see the problem like this you're just making coordinates out of it so really these two are the same problem. It's just written in function notation versus coordinates. And so you just transfer it and you're good. Okay, so I'm sure you'll see a couple of each of those today. All right, um, <coughs> excuse me. 4.2 was on point slope form. Okay, and so remember that the m is the slope, like always, and the y1 and x1 are a point from the problem. So if we had 
um, you know, I did a how to find the slope on the other one, so let's just kind of go a little bit faster. If the slope um, was three, and we had a point that was two negative six, <coughs> write the equation. So you plug in y minus from the formula, and then the y part and a negative with the six. So we have a minus from the formula and a negative with the six. Two negatives make a positive. And x minus from the formula and then the two. So remember that in point slope form, I talked about like when you plug it in, you're gonna see the opposite of what you have in the point. So we have a positive two for the x, but when we look in the problem, it looks like negative two. And we have a negative six, and then we look in the problem and we see positive six. That's what should happen every time. Okay, and so if it says write an equation in point slope form, you're done. Most of the time it'll say slope intercept form. Oh, I didn't know that, that was gonna happen. Oh, that's okay. Um, and then add or subtract thought for a minute there the sixes were gonna reduce each other out but we're good okay so when you switch from point slope to slope intercept it's the same every time distribute add or subtract so it really is only just a quick little two-step deal but got to memorize that point slope form okay so just and also pay attention to the directions if the directions say write an equation in point slope form, then you're done right there and you don't have to distribute. If it says slope intercept form, then you gotta distribute and then add or subtract. Okay, so really make sure that you memorize the formula. That's the big key for what we're doing. All right, hope, hope everybody has a good Friday um, and a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday.